Hello, hello! Welcome back to Whiskey with E. I'm Eric. It has been a while, you know. I had to go on a little bit of a break, but I figured may as well show you guys this. So, I got this from Audi or Aldi. Now, this is um, $39.99. It is a Christmas whiskey tasting kit. Now, all these whiskies in here are Australian whiskies, so there is six in total. Uh, 30 ml little sample, little samples. It even comes with a Glen Karen or Glen Khan, however you want to pro pronounce that. I I'm trying to be careful so it doesn't just fall out, but now let me have a little look. Let's see what the first one is. All right. I don't want any of these to drop out too, so we're going to be very careful. A little mini, mini glass. All right, we're going to push that here. And then we're going to pull out the first one. Alrighty. We'll put the rest back in before uh, it falls down or something. Oh my goodness, come on. Get in there. Alrighty. Woo! Alrighty, guys. Now, first sample kit is by Whipper Snapper Distillery. It is Upshot Australian Whiskey, 46%, 11 what is it? 1.1 standard drinks in this little sample bottle here. All right. Now, let me just pour this up and we'll have a little read what it says on the side of the box. Maybe we should uh, give this a rinse, but you know what? Too late for that. Let's just get right into it. I'm going to pour it up. Pause for the sample lid crack. Here we go. Sample lid crack done. You know what? We'll save some. <clears throat> Alrighties. Alrighties. While we're letting that sit, let's see what it said in here. Um, Alright, so pretty much it has tasting notes. There you go. Maybe we won't have a look at the tasting notes just yet and we'll uh, see what we get. But, let me have a little read of the back here. So pretty much... It says here, oh, here we go. Whippersnapper Distillery, Upshot Australian Whiskey from Perth, WA. A modern Australian whiskey made using 100% West Australian grains. This powerful flavoured dram uses a mash bill of 80% corn, 10% malted barley, and 10% wheat. Why does this sound like a bourbon? Oh my goodness, I'm going to shut this door. Maybe it's causing echoes. Alrighty, so expect board flavors of no, but, 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 we won't we won't look at that. Alrighty, so on the side here it says, this Christmas go on a journey through Australia's leading whiskey distilleries. This box includes six specially selected drams from Aust Aussie producers. Enjoy spirits from every corner of the country, right at home with this box including a whiskey, nosing glass and expert tasting notes to guide you on your way. The perfect present for any whiskey lover. See look, you can even say to mum or dad, to my best friend, from voila. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. This would have been a great gift. I would have even appreciated this gift during Christmas. Come on guys, you know I love whiskey. Why didn't you guys get me this? Now, there's a mosquito flying around. Sorry, I, I don't like to kill all, you know, life. All life is precious, but that mosquito was trying to suck the blood out of me, so I don't want to deal with that. You know what? Whiskey's been sitting long enough. Let's get right into it. Alrighty. So the colour, it's light, but... There is some floaty sediment in that, so I'm expecting it is unchill filtered. I'm assuming this is natural color at 46%. Let's have a little look. Flame flying over. Hmm. Personally, I'm just getting a lot of it's coming across like real ethanol fumes. <clears throat> Maybe I need to let it sit or something. I don't know. It it noses young. 
but there is a fruity element to this. I, I don't know. Um, it almost reminds me of even like an Irish whiskey, a little bit. All right, there, there's like elements of like um, cereal, like a grainy kind of vibes, like bread or biscuits. Maybe slight vanilla, slight bananas. But you know what? It's all about how it tastes. So, cheers everyone. Drink responsibly and uh, let me know in the comments if you have purchased this whiskey tasting kit from Audi, $39.99. I mean, you could work it out if that's worth it or not. Each of the whiskies in here are probably over 40%, so 46, 46, 47. So that's how Australian whiskies are. They're, they're generally over 46%, unchilled filtered, natural colour, but the problem is generally is sold in 500 mil bottles and very expensive. So we complain about bourbon prices, but no wonder no one ever buys Australian whiskey because uh, it's more expensive than the bourbon. Alright, so you know what, let's just get right into it. Cheers everyone. Hmm. To me, it came across really thin. I know, it's even though it's 46%, I'm just getting a vibe of it's still young. But I don't know nothing about this. I didn't really look into it. I didn't look at anyone's reviews. This is just me. Yeah, it comes across like an Irish whiskey. I don't know, guys. There is some slight apple notes coming in, but not as dominant as like a Speyside Scotch. You know what, I'm curious of what they thought of this, you know, see how unprofessional I sound. Alright. Alrighties, so, Whippersnapper Distillery Upshot Australian Whiskey. Let's see what it says. Nose, honey, vanilla, fresh pears and cracked pepper. Interesting. I got the vanilla, I mean, there is a sweetness there, so that must be the honey that they're talking about. The pears must be that slight apples that I thought. <sighs> Cracked pepper could just be that ethanol -y type of youthful note that I was getting. You know, it, it normally comes across like ethanol -y. But, cracked pepper, there you go. Taste. They say rock melon, pear cider, custard and cinnamon. Hmm, interesting. Finish long with walnuts, vanilla and creamy oak. Give me a look at this. Rock melon. Personally, I'm not really getting much cinnamon. I mean, when I'm picturing cinnamon, I'm picturing like some bourbons, you know, custard. But you know what? Taste is subjective. What I'm getting may be different to what you're getting. Let me know in the comments if you taste rock melon, pear or cider, or even the custard or the cinnamon. There you go. Long with walnuts, vanilla and creamy oak. You know what? I almost feel like trying some more. I mean, maybe that just wasn't enough. I mean, keep in mind guys, 30 mils is a standard um, drink that you'd normally get poured up. At the bar, alright guys? So when we're pouring up little ones, it's just merely having a taste. Let's save that as a sample. <laughs> Don't know why. It's a cute bottle, look at it, it's adorable. Hmm. Honey vanilla. I can kind of see what they mean by that. I was picturing, yeah, some kind of sweet, but I guess the honey is the sweet. But let's try pick out the long with the finish long with walnuts, vanilla, and creamy oak. All right, so walnuts, vanilla, and creamy oak. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, there is an element of creamy oak, but I think creamy in their their mind state is. I don't know, to me I'm getting, there's a slight oily vibe to it. So it's not, it's not overly like thin, like it's watery. There is a, a, 
uh, an oily element to this, which they could be describing as creamy, but but the oak isn't as dominant as what you'd picture a well-aged bourbon or anything like that. It's nothing like that oak or no sweet oak aged styles of oak. This must just be some faint oak, guys. I don't know. Um, I believe they must use used cask here in the uh, Australia, so they barely ever put it in a like a new American white oak barrel or anything like that. So. Australian whiskey laws is a little bit different. It's generally aged in used barrels, so there you go. The, the oak present isn't going to be as dominant. But overall, it's not bad. But would I be rushing off to go buy another, you know, buy a full bottle of this? Probably not. But I guess if you want to try different Australian whiskies, I say give it a try. It's probably one of the cheaper ones. Um, Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you all next time. Cheers, everyone. Baked apples. Orange peel, they say. I don't know. Maybe this is just one of those ones you need to spend time on, and maybe 30 mils just isn't enough for you to get to know it, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, I'll catch you all next time. See you all.